The pandemic public health policy that allows the U.S. Customs and Border Protection to turn away migrants at our southern border over concerns of the virus is known as Title 42. But that is set to expire now next Wednesday. In an effort, though, to stop that from happening, Republicans have asked the Supreme Court to intervene. KCAU 9's Anna Warnicke is in D.C. with the very latest now. Hours before Title 42 is set to expire, its fate remains uncertain. On Monday, 19 states asked the Supreme Court to intervene and reverse the lower court's decision to strike down Title 42. They say abandoning the policy will leave the already wide open southern border even more exposed. Chief Justice John Roberts temporarily paused Title 42 from being lifted, giving the Biden administration until the end of business day Tuesday to respond. The Supreme Court uh, uh, put a hold on the expiration for right now, so um, so we're working our way through that. Despite that, White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby said Tuesday that the administration is continuing its preparations for the end of Title 42. The president believes uh, that one of the most effective ways to deal with the stress at the border is to deal to, is to work internationally with our partners uh, in Latin America. But Republicans say the president's approach to immigration is not working and are calling on the administration to ramp up its security efforts. The Supreme Court made the right decision, but it's a temporary decision. Florida Republican Senator Rick Scott says border agents aren't ready to handle the expected surge of migrants once the policy ends. Title 42 needs to stay in place. We've got to get our border under control. We have criminals, we have terrorists, and we have drugs coming across. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.